Hello everyone. A quick video today on intrapass migration. What that mean? Sometimes you have a client with an intrapass edition, for example, that can be the special edition. Remember the special edition is uh, allow you to install the software in one computer. One computer, and from that one computer, you can manage like 200 and more door. Uh, but let's say the client need more computer. He need a station for the guard. He need a station for the uh, secretary for the reception uh, where they can make visitor card stuff like that. So if that happen, you go in to have to migrate that's pretty much the migration so it's switching from one edition to a higher edition so you can migrate from special to corporate you can migrate from special to global or corporate to global now let's take a look on how these can be done. The example today will be from special edition to corporate. The principle is the same, the step the same. Um, so what's the requirement? To do a migration, you will need the system running. The system needs to be um, functioning. For example, for special edition, we need the special edition already installed and working. We also need to have the login information because we're going to have to access the system. All right. Then, in that particular example, we're going from special to corporate. We will need the corporate edition software available. Also, the corporate edition license. So, Pretty much all you need, in fact, to switch from one Entropass to another is the license of the other solution you're going to. If you're going from special to global, you need a global license. All right. Um, now, you can see some red thread here. The intrapass corporate must be the same version as the special edition. For example, if you have a special edition version 500, um, then you're buying the corporate. The corporate, of course, will come to you at the latest version. Like if you buy a corporate now, it will be version 7. You will not be able to install the version 7. You will need to download the version 5 of the corporate, install that version 5 in that same computer. Then after we complete the migration process, we can upgrade it to the version 7 for free. Freely. All right. so. Requirement again, we need the special edition to be running. We are need the login information and we will need to look, download and have we the, the same version than the one you have running in the computer. If you have version 50028, you have to go and download the 50028. Uh, you get in touch with us at support and we'll help you. Then after we install the corporate in that same computer, please do not start the corporate. Also, when we install that corporate, we only install the server. We don't install any component additional. So let's see that in the next, uh, in the step. All right. So starting now. So we're going to log in and drop a special edition. We're going to make a backup of the system. It's whenever you're doing programming, changes, whatever you're doing before you start, safety, 
we need to make a backup. So we log in into our go to the backup tab, and we make a backup. After we've done that, we'll look for the, as I said, the same version than the special edition, install that. We'll select the first option, install server database and server workstation, right? After we install that, will we start the computer? Of course, at that step, it will ask you if you want to install uh, Gateway, if you want to install SmartLink, do not install any of those. After we complete the installation, we'll want what we call the migration utility. It's included in the Intrapass. So we'll go to uh, Windows Start, Program, Intrapass Corporate, Migration from Special Edition. We'll have a screen coming up. we we'll just select Migrate Database. After the process is completed, we'll click Close. Then we we need to go. We need to proceed to step number four. The step number four will start the server and then will register the server. We'll log in, register the server. At that point, all the special edition database moved over corporate already. So we have all the door, user, event, everything is on corporate now. So all we need to do is to complete the step we have left and then we're good to go. So we log in into a pass, register the corporate, and then we'll install the gateway and smart link. That's it. Now, let's take a look. Practically, we said, log in into a pass, go to backup, backup. Now, so we'll wait, we'll see when the backup is completed. After the backup is completed, we will look and install the corporate edition. Same version than the special edition. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have backup completed. Now we can shut down Entry Pass. Let's wait for it to stop. Then the next step is to look for the application, the installer of the corporate, and launch the installation. Remember, this time we're going to install only the server database no, and the server workstation. We're not going to install the smart link. We are not going to install the gateway. In my example, I already have the corporate installed, the same version of we, I have for the special edition. So I stop the installation. Now the next step is to go look for the migration tool. So I go to start, program, and trap as corporate. I went to server and then there is an, 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 um, a tool called migrate from special to corporate. I start it as you can see in my screen now all I have to do is to click start migration so I have the question and that's a notice saying that will override that will delete everything I had in the corporate in case that I did set up something in the corporate okay so I hit OK and then the migration tool is doing its job what's happening now all programming database event and everything I had from the special edition will be migrated to the corporate edition. 
So after I have that step completed, right? So right now I'm waiting to have migration completed. I will have an event saying the migration process is completed successfully. Then I will close that screen. Then that pretty much that's set for the migration part. Now what's going to have left is uh, we will need to start the server, register the software, because remember corporate require registration. So I will have to start the corporate server, log in with the temporary password, register that server, and then after that process is completed, I will be able to install the gateway and the smart link. So the migration is completed and I'm checking the next step as we explain. Okay, so let's start the server now. Server starting. So we're going to log in the server, register the application and move on as I explained already. So let's do the step waiting for the server so I can log in. All right, so I'm in now. Let's click to register. Then, of course, we know um, I need to go to the Kentech website, enter the license, the 20 digit, enter the information of the customer, and I will have the confirmation code. This is the confirmation code I'm entering right now. Uh, we do have other video to assist you on how to register the license. Um, um, so, registration completed. Okay, now of course, after any registration, the advice is to make a backup. Please remember when you do a registration, always make a backup and then you can move on with your programming. Okay, so the step five is completed pretty much, and we just miss the backup. So we're doing the backup now backup, backup, and we click OK since we're in the server. Then we're good to go. After that, pretty much, we have left to install the smart link and the gateway. Remember, we didn't install those um, at the beginning because of the migration process. This is the way to do the migration. Okay, so now pretty much we can um start the workstation even we don't have the gateway and smart link installed yet but all the database is already moved over so we're going to log in the workstation and verify make sure everything is there make sure we have all your our user there uh card pictures uh video integration because the uh we move the database we had in special edition we had video server integrated so we're going to take a quick look make sure everything is good and then install the missing component then we're good to go all right so let's take a look now let's start the workstation and right now as we can see there is no yellow password because the software is registered now we in the workstation we had yes we had three user all there our user card okay so i hope this quick video help you understanding better the step you know when you do a migration from either special edition to corporate special edition to global uh corporate to global we'll make sure to do another video for you from um, any edition going to global so we can 
uh, focus on the situation where we have different gateway because on global we have global gateway and corporate gateway uh, we have two gateway possible so it's good to have that clear thank you very much for watching